Um, but Sean, I just want to ask right here right now, just so we got full confirmation. Are you 100% giving us like full consent to use your voice and your face and all the all the footage that you give us within the podcast? Yes. Right. So you, you, Sean, obviously gamer, you give us complete give complete consent. So like, there's no no issues there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. Okay, that's all I need. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Forgotten Podcast. Today, I am your intro host, Catman Joe, joined by the other co-host, the one, the only, the infamous, Curious Apple 123 That's me. Hello. <laughs> there he goes. That is him, indeed. For episode 11, we are joined by undoubtedly the most anticipated guest we have ever had on this show. He is best known within our community for the three-hour-long special documentary I created called The Fan Who Came To Live With Me. He's also a small upcoming content creator himself with just over 200 subscribers. Please welcome Sean Elite gamer hey guys and what's up that me there you go there you go um, to give everybody a bit of an understanding of what's going to be happening today, in today's podcast episode, our main objective and goal is to give Sean the opportunity to better explain his experience living with me for six weeks and to perhaps disprove some of the allegations that have been put, I guess, towards him from the community and myself um, well, after the release, of course, of the documentary. Sean is our first guest up here on the show with under 1,000 subscribers, so before we get into the actual questions himself, I'd like to just congratulate him on that. And uh, Sean, welcome to the show from myself and Curious Apple. Oh, thank you, guys. Fantastic. All right, man. Well, uh, how, how are you feeling, man? That's, I, I feel like that's probably a good one to begin with. Like, how, how are you feeling? I feel quite all right, actually. Quite Just all right. Okay, slowly, all right. Best I can. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, I think for the the first that's, that's our first question. That's a side question. That is not on the script. Um, but for our main first question, I want to ask. I think it's a good way to kind of segue into it. Is uh, you know, so I guess yeah, to begin the interview, Sean, I simply would like to ask, how you been doing, man? How you been doing? Like, how you been doing? Like, uh, how you been doing recently? Been all right. Just going to sergeant college last month. College, all right. What? So, what you been taking? What you been doing at college? Catering level one. Oh, nice. Catering. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not too bad. It's not too hey, bad. Hey, college boys. Look at that. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Joseph. Yeah. No, I know. <laughs> Sorry, my my like, my brain stopped. Okay. Joseph. Yeah, we're all here. We're just going straight to question two, eh? Yeah, yeah, uh, how did your life change after you left Catman Joe's house? Didn't change much really, just gone down a hill since I was there. But even before I was went to Joe's house, didn't change much. What do you mean, what do you well, mean gone mean, downhill? Mm -hmm. New manager, new head chef, since then it just gone down a hill. So Is that your work late. then? So like you just... Just got well, fed I mean, up with uh, manager. I, Really? Well, you, you told me, Sean, after you left, because we actually had a, a. This is to be honest, yeah, here, this is behind the scenes. Yeah. We yeah we, we had a we had a private call uh, before the day before the documentary went out. I was actually meant to release the documentary the day before it came out, but I had to put it off because it just wasn't loading on time and whatnot. Um, but I actually no, I, I can't recall how it happened. We I got on a call with Sean actually. I don't know if you recall. Um, and we got a call and Sean was informing me the day before the documentary went out of what had happened to him and how he's been recently because this was our first time really speaking uh, since, well, he'd been at my house which was pretty much a year ago at that point it definitely, um, yeah. so yeah, it was it was a year at that point so Sean informed me and I don't want to speak too much on behalf of Sean but Sean did say of what not like, if you don't mind me sharing Sean you did say like, you know, you went back home you know, you, you lost your house um, you got put into temp temporary accommodation um everything like there was and your job as well you lost yeah all fun and money like, so, yeah well how, how did you lose your house i think i think it's something people would be interested in hearing not not getting enough money to pay to pay a rent and how, how did you lose your job it's just not a manager does not care about me when having a sleeping problem I had it for a long time ago so were you showing up late for work then yeah I'll bring yeah. best I can, be early best I can. All right, okay. Um, so as some of the viewers most likely know, after the documentary went live that I made, I asked those who watched it fully to leave some questions for us to ask you, Sean. We have picked out a select few different questions from the viewers, but the first comes from Cat Mam Sam, a good friend, asking, are you aware that you have now become a meme in the, well, I guess, to the community? And what are your thoughts on that? Ooh, I think I'm in... Meme of it for some reason, yeah. Well, how, how do you feel about it? Like, 
Not sure about it yet. It's a bit awkward. <laughs> The, the awkward would you, do you would you say you feel mad about it because like there's a lot of people that crack jokes towards you and it's kind of you have became like the butt end of the joke for a lot of people within the, the, the community because there's there's very there's a select few people that have really had as much of a history of the channel as, as you have you know what i mean with you coming actually to deliver me the only person i've ever done that um so i i mean yeah do, do, do would you say you resent it do you, do you dislike the jokes do you do you dislike them being made at do you, you take it to a fed do you accept them yeah I think some people take it too far. Some means quite look good and they're on me. What 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 would you classify end. as someone taking it too far? Like what type of thing could someone do to take it too far? It's in like someone's on your Discord in your server and spamming it on all over the place. Spamming it what what were they spamming? A lot of stuff. Mainly that pedo stuff and that I'm like too far. For both of us. All right, fair. Well, fair play. Fair play. Uh, I guess well, that's a good. That's a good answer. Another yeah. question from um, mainly Joe's community, but the community in general, nonetheless. Uh, we've got one from Xavier, who is actually here right now, and uh, you know he's just our backup recorder behind the scenes. Very, and you know, thank, thank you for you. that. Um, and his question was, do you regret anything that happened, presumably when staying at Catman Joe's house? So, is there anything you regret doing? Is that one thing piss off Joe Dad Defray? Would you like to elaborate? Yeah, your dad. So I think I pissed him off quite a bit. Well, ran, yeah. Ran at the end of before I left. I mean, just to elaborate, which, which what what time are we speaking about here? Was like, it the 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 river incident? I think about I think the week before I left when the that cop raided. That wasn't that wasn't a week. I, I guess that, that keys into the next question, so I, 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 we'll jump to that. But this, okay, okay. So this is a, this is my question here, Sean. So in my documentary, Sean, one key big moment, what some would call the turning point of the story, was week three when my house got raided by the police for drugs and guns. Now, to this day, myself and my father both think that the reason our house was busted and raided, if you want to call it that, was due to your mother being worried about you. Originally, when you came down for the first three weeks, you did ignore any and all calls and texts from your family, especially your mother. Can you at least confirm this is true? We're not, my mum definitely not called any cops at all. No, but I mean, can can you confirm before we even get going to that? Then can you confirm that you ignored the phone to your mum yeah, for three mom, weeks? Yeah, we ignored the phone to my family. Yeah, it, yeah, you didn't because I, I recall this instance, and you didn't, you weren't, you were not answering calls. I mean, you're a grown man in all due respect, um, but you weren't answering any calls or any texts. So you know that was that. Um, yeah. So I mean, and that kind of follows up to the main question. Thank you for answering that honestly. Was so, do you believe your mother was to blame for the house being ready? No. You, you don't think so to this day? To not to this day. All right. All right. Why do you think that? Just I'm known for most of my family is not dare to do it. But your mother, she did make threats that she was going yes, to I do know. it. Do you not, see, so why do you not think you? that would she be correlated? About, I am annoyed most of the time. I don't know what going on when people's life I'm going to most of the time. Mm -hmm. I've done a lot more stuff, dangerous stuff, at, when I, I'm with my mates. No, my mum didn't even uh, know what I'm doing. How did you say you do more dangerous stuff with your mates? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Would you be able to elaborate on that? Just like going to, when I'm before college, like going to abandoned buildings. When that really tons of holes could about three four floors down okay that one is where I started to hang around quite bad people and just end on stop it's not the right way to do it your life I yeah say. yeah right well do you want to move on or do you have anything Go else ahead. to elaborate on right uh, why didn't you bring a toothbrush to Joe's house knowing you were going to be there for more than one day I thought I packed it one in I must have forgot. So, like, just, you know, simply forgot it? Yeah. Because you know, it, it was six was weeks. Washing, last minute uh, as well. But you, were, but you were able to, like, I, can we just, like, conclude? Like, you, you forgot a toothbrush, but you're able to remember your, like, surround sound speakers, a bottle of rosy wine, six, a six pack of beers, 
uh, your Xbox, your PlayStation, your games, your VRs, like, everything like that, but like, you forgot a toothbrush. Yeah, I packed all them the day before, before I went to bed. Okay. Oh, but surely, surely you would have brushed your teeth before and you would have packed it with your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I went to work in that morning as well. Were you? Yeah. I didn't think you were working that, one, that morning. I was working, then went home, then got, so, didn't, I got a chance, just got in the shower and just done a bit of my hair. Then my grand grandparents picked me up and took me to train station. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, well, another question from a viewer uh, we have here is from Prodigy Jack, who you actually know, of course, as well, Sean, which was, do you think you're in the right in this whole situation regarding the documentary? I don't know. You, you don't know? Why don't you know? Do, do you doubt that? yourself in any situation like do you think maybe it's a very 50 50 thing yeah but yeah so so you think in what, some what? scenarios you were wrong so what what scenarios I, no it's, it's fine you feel free speak speak your mind if you think that because this is this is a podcast you know we're here to we're here to interview you sean it's you know you know yeah. this is in the past now you know say what you would have say if you have we're here for you more than back. you are here for us we're, yeah we want honesty yeah i mean you don't have to feel like you gotta hold anything back um, it hasn't been done in the past, yeah, um, done, but it's so been go done ahead. and done and got over with. We say, well, that's it exactly. But it's uh, so. What do you think you were right in in the situation? Like, what do you think you were in your fair rights within? Like, what do you think that I said that was bad or wrong against you? I think when there was a really argument, I think it went too far with each other. I'd say, what in my house? I think more on PlayStation. Each when he. Send each another voice message. Oh well, that was that was afterwards. That was I, we're talking about yeah. just at my house explicitly. Like, do you think so you were in the right, home, like the entire more, situation? You're right. More, so I was doing more wrong things for most of the time. Okay. 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 So I agree with you and your dad. Your dad was in agree with that. Mhm. Mm All right. Well. Going on from Joe's question once more. Another question given by Catman Sam. Ma'am, son, hopefully I said that right. Uh, <laughs> since there is so, man, so much help out there for different types of disabilities and learning difficulties, have you ever thought about getting help to improve your speech? Like, just as, you know, a benefit. I had it so, gone soon, so it didn't go that well. How did it not go well? There's a more... some more different language. I had a Scottish come down to, to help me out with my English. Must speak. Wait, someone Scottish came down to England to help you with your English? Yeah. It's a bit mad. But I mean, like, surely even right now as an, as an adult man, I'm not too sure because I personally wouldn't know much, but surely, like, there's ways that you could, like, improve your speech. Because obviously, you know, you do have a speech impediment. It's nothing significant, like, you know, when you live with me, you know, it's your speech improves over time. It's one of those things that's like the more you, you do speak, because it's, it's like the more you speak, the more it improves, the more clear it becomes. But obviously, there's an issue of points and one with it. Yeah. Um, like pronunciation of certain things and whatnot. Um, but have you ever considered as an adult man now, not even obviously when you're a child, but as an adult man, have you ever considered like what Sam's saying here, um, particularly, you know, potentially looking out or seeking help from outside sources? I can have a look at, again, try it again at some point. So you've considered it? You, you kind of want to improve it? Yeah. Okay. I've improved it since I left school, been from college. After college, I had a job. I think that helped quite a bit since stuff helped me out quite a bit. Oh, so do they have like a person on site on campus then? No, then he's don't know. Them help me do a bit, do as much I can. So how how did they help you then? What just you just being there or? Yeah, being there and get more talking, and more confident in myself by talking mm -hmm. to people. Yeah, yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. Right, so I know from obviously Joe that before the documentary, uh, at the time where you were at, you know, his house, uh, he did try and contact you privately, informing you that it was about to premiere. Obviously, the documentary itself. Uh, and however, you didn't actually join the live premiere uh, due to you believing you had 
to pay to watch it because we we never charge for premieres. Um, no, no. My question is, did you ever find the time no, to fully watch the documentary about, about you? So I stumbled on that one. An hour or half an hour left. I went to try and watch the app. I did. No. You, you, so you haven't watched the full documentary yet? I didn't realise that. I didn't realise it was not paid to someone told me. It's been out for months. Pay for it. Yeah, well, everybody, everybody was trying to contact you because we all, we were, all, we were all interested yeah. uh, universally in, in the live chat to hear your response live about it, which is why I think so many of you guys watching uh, this right now, hopefully on on YouTube or on Spotify, listening, uh, will be interested about it as well because we all wanted to know your opinions on the documentary um, regarding you know some of the things that I said because a lot of the things that I said I felt as if you know during the I, I read what in my opinion was a complete truth and whatnot and it was, um, but I knew there was going to be some parts where you would maybe listen to it or watch it and go that isn't the case or that was misinterpreted or whatever and i was hoping that you would have came in to defend you i even said during the documentary that you're welcome to always you know upload your own response to it but there was never always a response uploaded which is why i've got um, you on so here I for just, your own response really Ex exactly yeah me. exactly so i can do it um somehow i can buy that video off. i can sort it out something about it we know the video your side i'm sorry but you, you might make a response. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Okay. Right, okay. Well, my, my next question for you, Sean, is when you first arrived at the train station to meet me and my father, you had a hickey on your neck, right? Or in other terms, Someone if anybody, does, anybody watching doesn't know, a hickey is a love bite. I'm sure Sean, Joseph, we, we all understand. Yeah, yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I, after... <laughs> Okay. Uh, after after my dad noticed, uh, after it's my dad noticed that mentioned it to you, yeah. all you done was giggled, uh, quite like right now actually. So it's almost quite like some pedo friend. It's a, a bit of a thing. Just want me to go over with them all this time. Done it once, not doing it again. Mm hmm. Well, this is this is when. This is this is where I'm going to hear. So now both myself and my dad knew by that point because this was you know you're at our house for a few days. We already knew you know we had had the conversations plenty. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we already knew by that point um, that you weren't in any relationships back home. You know there was no like committed relationship. You don't have a girlfriend or whatnot. So out of curiosity, we proceeded to ask you or keep asking you. I don't know if you you can recall. We did you know say a lot. Uh, who gave you the hickey, Sean? You know to which at, at first you said rather startled. That seemed at first it was a girl. That was the quote. Um, but later, you know, piece by piece, you mentioned yes. you had a friend or your friend, I believe his name is, I don't know if it's, is it Craig? I, I always forget it. Uh, Craig, what you, you said at that point, you, like, again, I, I'm not sure, but yeah, yes. you, the guy Craig no. or something had given it to you. Can you confirm this is true? All right. Um, one of undoubtedly the biggest and most important questions we have is, and this is, this is a seriously big one. Um, is what was your relationship with the 10 or 11 year old girl I mentioned in the documentary and why did you rename her as your girlfriend on Facebook Messenger? I just wasn't really interested in her, she wanted me all the time. But she's an, I'm sorry, I'm laughing but this is my way of coping but she is a 10 or 11 year old girl like uh, you even if you didn't name her that because it's obviously it goes both ways you can you can name her you you know she can name it but uh, in fact no you did you must have named her you named her girlfriend you named that conversation and you, you called her your girlfriend well no because it's on facebook when you name how would why would she name the you girlfriend it doesn't make sense but i think it would be you named her girlfriend and she's named you boyfriend that would be how it would go but why would you even allow that to happen with a 10 or 11 year old girl? More non Facebook that often. Well, you're on Facebook a, a, quite a bit, you know, uh, when it comes to Messenger, you know. Um, but I mean, why were you even speaking to this girl? Like, how? She had like, me on Facebook randomly. How, like do, how do you know her? Do. Her sister doing it as well. Did you ever take the girl's <coughs> age into account? Didn't say the age for a long time. You must have knew she was young. She had a Disney, like a Disney princess thing as her profile photo, and from a little bit of research, I myself found her like actual certificate for like for for passing 
primary. She was only 10 or 11 years old. She was just going to high school getting ready to. So you must have been able to see her age. You surely must have known she was young. I mean, she, she seemed awfully upset in, in the photo that I, I looked at. Like there was, there was conversations. She was she was up to, she was referring to you as her boyfriend, and you weren't, you know, I mean, like she's a kid, you know. You would so why didn't you block her? Like it's, you, if you don't know her, someone, it's a, a very you know on. mad thing. Play along. And the one girl asked me out on PlayStation not long ago. What? No, definitely not. Was it was it one of those bots though? One my friend I talked to sister. Yes. Wait, this girl's sister? Six, 15. I said no. How old is she? Right, well, that's Why do sensible you... that you said no. Obviously, I'm not going to mention any private information about these girls, but I know the sister. I know the young sister. And I saw both their face, but I found them both. Um, but my, my question is, why why are yeah, you even allowing yeah. this to happen? They're, they're, I mean, Sean, you're 24, aren't you, right now? So she's 50, she's almost 10 years your junior. And this young girl who is, I believe, 11, let's say now, at the point in time she could have been 10, she's 14, 13 yeah. years your junior. These are young children. Do, okay, well, I'm, I'm here to be the middleman overall, but do you understand how inappropriate that can be to, you know, be in a relationship with someone that young? Yeah. Not saying you were, but you understand why that's wrong. Well, he, he, what you, you clarified it, it you you were allowing them to play this game of girlfriend and boyfriend. It's you it clearly if you didn't consent to, it, you would say no. Hey, that's kind of weird. You know, I'm I'm good. But you 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 played along, as if that was okay. So it wasn't as if you you know you weren't referring to them. You you were allowing it to happen, and that's kind of the equivalent of like it's a, it's the equivalent of signing beside someone with a gun and letting them shoot someone. You're still ex like you're you know accessory to murder. It's the same kind of idea. You're still accessory to pedophilia. It's, dare I say it. it's it's a strong word. I'm sorry, but it's like that's that's child predatory behavior. We're here to discuss not to this, you... not to attack you, by the way, Sean. Yeah, no, ex yeah, it's just a discussion, exactly. We're not trying to attack you, Sean, at all. We're, we're wanting you to please share your opinions and vote. Like, vent a little bit. Once again, whatever you have to say, you're any questions open. you have for us in return. I think mine, any, any tell. Any tell. So I think mine, I'm not really for this document from mine. Yo, what's about up? Later on, stuff go on. From my nurse. should talk. Any question I got? What, you two, what do you mean? Answer you on the end of this broadcast. Yeah. Oh, okay, no worries. No, that, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We'll, we'll continue, we can take our time. Um, okay, uh, well, anyway, we'll go from there. Um, kind of moving away from such a deep question, because obviously I know it's kind of a lock-up question for you, I'm sure. Um, another question we have uh, from one of the people who watched the documentary is Coltrane or Colton asking how many times did you mess up your haircut this is regarding when you came to my house you cut your own hair mm, but like did you like while doing it did you have to like mess with that bit or was it like it was hard to do with the cutters I got like was it was it hard to do it wouldn't then be a trim can be a haircut as mm, well, when the beard trimmers All right, I mean, hard. Well, like, why didn't you consider it's cutting your own hair? <laughs> anyway, yeah, like, yeah, I've done it before. It didn't go well. Inform me, make the poll. Yeah. Yeah, no. I, but yeah, last time I touched my did, hair. Why I did you consider it, it though? Because beforehand, before you came down, I actually like, in the documentary. There's your footage. You can see your hair yeah, before it was cut, and you you had longer hair. Obviously, you always can have longer hair. Um. So why did why did you even cut it? Definitely by my ears on my eyes. Fair enough. Well, okay, no, that's a fair enough answer. Yeah, just can't, can't contest that. Well, we have a third question. Uh, once again, from a cat man, Sam. Uh, is, yeah, did you ever get that. a new bed? Are you still on the no, I'm old white broken me. Alright, uh, well, I mean, like, obviously, because, again, just to refer to Eleron's question. 
after you left mine, you went home. Um, I don't know how long explicitly it was after you left mine, but like you said, you you know you got kicked out of your house, you lost your job. Uh, obviously, things did go quite heavily downhill from your own words. Um, your bed and whatnot, and all that kind of jazz. So you didn't get new yeah, beds right now. Currently, you're in a, is it temporary accommodation? Would that be the correct next year, way to put it? Meant to kick me out. To no, they're gonna keep me for a bit more. Wait, longer so do you got a house next year? Or okay. Um, is there anything within the documentary that you heavily disagreed with? And if so, what was it? Or what exactly was it? I think that fun one that I just definitely disagreed. What? The one that cops. What? Uh, what form would that be? Yeah. The one that we so that was that be like the main heavy disagreement. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um. I guess that's a fair. We kind of already touched on that. But that's a fair thing. That's a fair question. Our fair answer to the question. Right. Well, let, let's think about the like the whole, you know, holiday as a whole. If you could go back, you have a yeah. time machine because you can. Why not? It's cool. It's sick. Of course. Um. What would you change about your visit to Joe's house? Definitely change my reaction on, on to them. More calm and more behave. I say. So, uh, Why do you say that? I was in that fed up, pissed off with quite a few people. I think Joe might notice that. I mean, I would have phone call Mickey to keep coming through. Mm -hmm. Is there any like individual mistakes you would necessarily yeah. fix? Would it, would, like, cause, the question in turn was, would you have changed any specific mistakes that you made or mistake, even perhaps yeah, the entire some, journey itself? Would you have just not cared? Something I've done you know, wrong. Feel free to you. say what you do. Demonstrate away. Do not leave us. <laughs> no, no, what I do something wrong. I can Wait, tell sorry, what? you two. Are you two straight away? I didn't do it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of were. You're a bit more, um, I guess, what's the word? Yeah. Uh, I know secretive with that. Um, all right, well, that's a good answer. Fair play, fair play. I'll give you that. Uh, good question to a time traveling question. You know, I sadly ain't yeah, sure, guys. We can't travel back in time, but uh, you know, if only we could. If only we could. Yeah, buying so video of that. It would be, it'd be amazing. It'd be a good YouTube video. I can't lie to y'all. It'd be a great YouTube video if we could. Um, <laughs> So, Sean, on Twitch, around a few months ago, uh, whilst in the midst of a conversation with myself and a few others, um, and I don't know if you can recall this, let me know if you can, but there was a few of us, it was, we had a few conversations on Twitch, so, uh, you know, let me finish the question. Um, you disclosed publicly that you intended to meet a young underage girl, however, didn't get to because her parents found out and stopped you, um, or stopped her, sorry. Uh, can you give us more context on why you said this and what your I intentions said, uh, were I'm when gonna, you actually did meet her, her anyway. or when you actually if were going to meet her? I can say I can you're too young and don't really need you. I can find someone my age. I think last time I checked I was 13. But you, how old was this young girl, 14. if you don't asking? I didn't even meet any of them. I went out. How did you meet her? One girl I met in real life. Well, I mean, how did, you know, how did you get introduced to her? She took her, she, her parents stopped it. When I met when I, when, I, when I was at showroom, was this, girl come was this her? Let's like go here. That much. Was this I, this girl here though, or was, was this a different girl? Think about maybe. So no, but I'm, I'm, how did I'm you asking, get in contact this, with this, this specific woman? This this one, this, this specific girl, not that one. Not All right, but like, girl, is, is it, are these two different people that you're talking about? Yeah. That's what I'm saying, the young underage girl, yeah, that's the other one that you room. said you met, was that a convention that. you said? How? A showroom? No. Okay, well, is this the same girl that we're mentioning here? Yeah, the only one girl I met in real life. So this is another girl? I said about... How old was she? About underage, when I was... Not much underage, I think about... I think about five years ago, at least. Maybe ten years. When I... I mean, nearly six, nearly about ten years now, if I'm right. I went to my school, 
Yeah, about ten years ago. Uh, yeah, it's about ten. So wait, wait. I'm, I'm yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really confused. Me. You yeah, met someone uh, ten years ago. Age. Who's underage? About six, about 13, you would have been fourteen 14. as well. No, that girl was. Wait, you were. And how old were 16. you? So how old were you? Maybe it's eighteen. Maybe eighteen then. Right. So she yeah. was, and what what happened? Was this that was this a, was this a different girl? Okay, so moving so to the, the moving one. to the girl that we were originally speaking about. How yeah. did you get in contact with her? Was it through Facebook? Was it through a different form of social media? Through Facebook. That sort of thing. Okay. okay so Facebook. Uh, and why? What? What were your intentions? Why were you just going to meet? What was the point that were you just going to hang out? Girl or? Girls really in a bit too much pain. She just they made too much asshole to I'm sorry. Be with. By more than message then sent me. But what what I'm asking was you you said in the Twitch stream with myself and I, I can only name two people that I know by heart that were there, which was Police and uh, Ree, who if they're in the stream or the podcast right now they could probably confirm that. And there was others I, I can't recall exactly everybody, but there was a few other few. There was at least four of us there in that time. Um, but explicit, I think it was two or three others that were speaking to you directly at that time. Maybe even Jack and a few others. But you had intent. You said that you had intended to meet the young girl. However, her parents had stopped her when they found out she was going to be y yourself. Don't think, don't you obviously I never get that. to, I, I just want to clarify, I'm not saying that you did meet her. I'm not saying that at all. Well, no, you, you did definitely say 100%. It was like, we, we had it like there, 100%. But my thing is, as you said, you were going to meet her. However, her parents stopped it because they found out. But you, you never met her. Like, you, you know, you never met her. Like that was, t you know, you never did. You know, that was 100%. You, you did say that you never met her. So, you know, nothing bad happened. But you did say that you were going to meet her. Can you I'm at least sure confirm that, one, like that was the case? I know I'm coming a long time ago. I said, girls, when we meet me, I said. I said mm hmm. Well, that, that, no, you, well, yeah. You, you made out as if. You, yeah, she was going to meet you, meet you but you were going to meet her thin, as well. But then her parents stopped her because they found out. Um, no, it's her said. Oh, it was too far? That's what the parents said? Then, then. Oh, okay. I'm not going to say uh, what would have been your intentions if you didn't hear? Too young and to wake her up for like, what would, what would Jesus old man. So you, so you'd meet up There's to tell her she was in the wrong. It, then message. I said it yeah, once. Why wouldn't you just text her that? She don't care. Even. I so why did you chat, feel obliged to go further and do age, more and to she tell don't her? Care no. about my age. Even like her, my age to her mom or sister. Well, why didn't you just she make her another one? But I don't. I've been with no well, Why her would you just just ignore her? Did. Yeah, it's yeah. Not no more. Does she still speak to you? No, there you no, go. But like, don't you intended to meet her still. No, of course, but you, you didn't. You, again, I just want to clarify. You, you never, you, you didn't ever actually meet her. You never, you know, you never actually got to meet her. Um, thankfully, but uh, it was the, the fact that you did say that you in the Twitch stream with with witnesses more than maybe five or six of us, and they could probably all contest and say the same thing. You did say you were going to meet her. However, and it was a comma. However her parents stepped in and stopped her from meeting you. Whether that was because of your age or whether it was because of the journey or something else, I'm not too sure, you didn't clarify, yeah. but you did mention at that point in time that specific statement, that's what I'm bringing up here. Um, but yeah, I, you know, why Why don't you just block them? You know, th this is like the, 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 the fifth person that is underage that you've spoken to, why don't you block them? It's mad that they're all adding you, that's what's kind of perplexing, they all add you, you know, like how do, how do they even get to know you? Have you ever first. added one? Yeah. So you never add them. I mean, you have to add them back, obviously, to speak to them. I don't so really look at accounts. Do you just not look at the accounts when you add them? No, I don't. So you do look at the account, or you know, you don't. Okay, so you don't look at the account. Yeah. So you just add them blindly. Would you say? Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna move on okay. slightly. Well, well, 
Well, I think I think I think before just okay, I'm sorry, yeah, just no, it's fine. But, uh, it's completely fine. I think I think right here right now, I think uh, with that we'll go make a cup of tea and we'll take a quick break. Uh, because I think everybody needs a quick minute to shake it off, you know what I'm saying? You just let okay. the, the you know things uh get back to level ground. But you know, Sean can go get a cup of tea or whatever, I'll go get a cup of tea, we'll all get a cup of tea. So yeah, listen guys, we'll be back in a second after the break. Enjoy the break and we'll be back in just a second, okay? Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys after the break. All right. Welcome back, legends and specimens, to part two of the Forgotten Podcast, episode 11. I'm obviously joined by my co-host, Catman Joe, and our very special guest, Sean Elite Gamer. And I absolutely smashed that intro. Indeed. So, <laughs> moving Indeed. swiftly on to question 18. Uh, and I, I do know this is a bit of a personal question to you, Sean. But, you know, nonetheless, that's what we're here to do. Talk, vent, and, you know, just relax and chill. But, nonetheless, what would you say... Uh, like, how would you describe your relationship with your mother? Would you say it's like loving, or would you say it's unloving? Like, how do you see your relationship with your own mother? I think it's okay now. What are you now? This is seeing quite a, now again. It's going down with a phone call. So, what, what about if you're, you're, you're? I mean, I guess you could do almost like the opposite. What, what about if your dad? How's, how's your relationship with your dad been? Would you my, say it's my, good? My same with my, okay with my dad. All right, okay. Well, I, bit of an interesting question to uh, begin the thing with. Um, I, I guess I know. Like, I mean, at one point, I, I do know when you were down at my house, your your relationship with your mother, and we're mentioning this because obviously your mother is a part of the story with some of the stuff. Um, but you know, at one point, your mother, would, you had a bit of a, a weird relationship, almost a threatening relationship. It seemed like. You know, it was like yeah. as if she was the boss of you. She told you when to go to work. She was in, in charge of how you lived your life. You know, I mean, it was her primarily the reason that you left my house because it was it was the fact that your mother was telling you every single week after Sean had eventually answered the phone to his mother after three weeks here. Um, Sean was getting, you know, almost I wouldn't say harassed is the right word because his mother, but he was getting called a lot by his mother, uh, text everything. Um, and that kind of brings me to my next question here, Sean, which is, um, and uh, again, I'd love to know the answer. When you were at my house, you informed us that you, your mother, and I believe your little sister, is it correct? Your, your little sister. Um, you were all going to go on holiday. You'd paid for your, your, your side of the holiday and whatnot. You'd paid for that and all that kind of jazz. Did I end up happening? I didn't go. Then my, all my sister went and my mum went. Was it your, your little sister and your big sister or just your little sister? Little sister. My little sister was pregnant. Just a just a baby when it went away. Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember. I recall this. Uh, that that was one of the things when you were here that she was pregnant. Yeah. So why didn't you go? Um, I went to go. Just not got time to do a passport. So they left you behind. Because it was you, you paid for your end of the flight. I, when Sean was here, we we were looking into it, and that was the case. You had paid. For your side of the fair, you paid and you said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going on this holiday. I remember your mum was saying, hey, you know, we'll, we'll go. She was giving you phone calls quite a lot, but what, so they, because you can get the passports on time, she, you didn't get to go? Yeah. Oh, um, I mean, was there any other reason? Like, why, why couldn't you get the passport on time? What happened with that? Why wasn't it like arranged in advance? So we got a form in advance and I got money for it to last minute. And what, your mother couldn't pay for it? Yeah. That means, yeah, it's a sin. Because uh, where, where were you going to, where were you planning on going on holiday? Somewhere, a country somewhere. I can't remember. And what I got told, I, I'm better off at home than went away. You're better off at home, that's what they told you? Yeah. If a hotel, five star, look like two star. Maybe oh, low. okay. How much did it cost? How much did you pay towards it? Because it was like it was over a thousand pounds, I believe, wasn't it? I said I meant pay five thousand. I think I paid about two hundred. You, when you were here, you'd already paid what I thought it was one thousand, because it was quite expensive. Yeah. It wasn't too bad, but so you had paid two thousand. Uh, well, a thousand, sorry. So I paid only two hundred. That's it. Okay. Okay. Um, have you ever been in a relationship, sexual or sexual or otherwise, with anyone under the legal age of 16? No. But at the, you had been in a relationship with this girl at the beginning, this 11-year-old uh, girl. You, you, you are referring to as your girlfriend. That was it was not that was non-sexual. It wasn't sexual. That's 
you know, that's uh, that's all right. But you know, it, it was just otherwise, I guess, that's what could be stated. That you were in a, a, a girlfriend-boyfriend relationship. You, you never. So you, you, you. So I'm sorry. Before you kind of. Um, so would you say you you never you never been in a sexual relationship with any children? You know, like anybody under the age of sixteen. You know, like anybody teenager, even as teens, anybody under the age of sixteen, you've never been in a sexual relationship with. Have you only been in a relationship with people that are under the age of sixteen, n not sexual? No, I said no. I've been in underage. I'm sorry. I said no. I said I don't even go out underage. It's the awkward some time okay depends okay. on them how is it awkward it's pain their side always wants stuff they always want stuff they always want stuff doing like what oh do did you say given or doing doing and giving at the same time um okay I mean, I, I have to ask. Kids, like, they? Do you, wait. So, are you saying that most of the younger kids that like you, you've hang with, or you've hung with, they've always wanted stuff? Really, that's been it. Yeah. And have you ever given them it? I don't even give it. You don't like to give it, or you've never given it. Never give it. Underage. Um, do you have any sort of? I, I'd say, you know. Maybe it's a poor choice of words. Do you at all? Do you find children sexual? Like, do you, do, you, do you look at children and find them? Uh, what's the word? Uh, just maybe come jumping here. Do you find them uh, attractive even? No. But, should we try jumping here? No thanks. Uh, yeah, no worries. Um, um, I, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna. Sorry, I'm just. I, I just want to clarify this for the record. Um, so, you you've been in relationships with people that are under the age of 16 you say you haven't but you have because you called a young girl who was 10 or 11 years old your girlfriend that is a relationship you know if, if you're allowing it to happen even if you're not consent like if you're not wanting it to happen you should block her or say no but you had her on your you had a screenshot of the why did you also screenshot that that's another good question why did you also screenshot the conversation between you and the young girl uh, who was 10 or 11 uh, when she was saying you know please answer the phone and all this and that but why did why was it screenshot because that was on your google drive that's how i found it I didn't have it on there. What? You, no, you did. I so that's how that's how I found it because it was on the Google Drive and it was that was where it was. So why was it screenshot? Did you just were you showing it people or were you just keeping it? I didn't really notice I screen. Sometimes I'm quite important to screenshot. And you just had noise. It's automatically go on my Google Drive and then all my photos. Okay. Right. Um, so you don't find anyone like you don't find children attractive definitely not okay all right all right okay right um moving on um what are your thoughts and opinions on people sharing your personal information without your consent are you not okay with it being done or would you be perfectly okay with it being done it depends on stuff what, what kind of stuff? What kind of stuff would you worry about people sharing? Personal, personal information uh, is like it's quite an open thing. It's quite it's open for interpretation to some degree, but it's quite common knowledge what personal information is. But what would you yeah. be okay, like? What would you be okay with people sharing personal information wise of yours? I'd say my age stuff like that. Okay, if in like record document is sent, but like then personal stuff. Well, there's public information, there's private information. Your age could some degree be, it could be private. Your date of birth's private. Your age is public, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's something that's yeah. public. What about um, your address? Would you be against that, people sharing that publicly? Against it, I bet. Just, sometimes it's just annoying people coming to your doors. But have you had people come to your door? No, not much. But so you've had it happen to People checking stuff out of windows a lot. Well, at your so people have come. Yeah. Having like people chucking stone eggs on the windows. But people have smashed the windows or stones. Oh, yeah, is is people... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is this what you're, you you said? People have flung footballs, stones, eggs, etc. But stones would break the window. No? I would say. Yeah, yeah it depends how hard it, they chuck it. But they flung it. Why would they fling it at your windows? I don't know. No quarries with anybody. Just yeah, I didn't join. Got any bad blood for no reason. 
Just like, oh, there's that one well. up there. I like that one. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get that. I like uh, uh, kids as well. Yeah, it's the only kids doing it. Do you think potentially that would have any sort of involvement? And I'm pulling a string here, but do you think that potentially would be because you have spoken to a lot of those? Maybe not those kids, but other kids. No. No, no relation. No. Does it have any correlation with your online activity? So I don't do them on online much anyway. Well, isn't YouTube? You know, what is it? Does it correlate? Yeah, with, does it? Does, do you think that they know about that and they come and try and harass you? Dare I say, because of that? Mm, I think might do. Yeah. Might See do. me always on there in late on. Okay. Um. All right. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um. So, I regarding the last thing again, just to clarify, you you know you would so you're not okay with would you say you're not okay with your private information being shared? That's like your address, you know, stuff like that. You're not okay with that, and not other private information, general things. You're not okay. With, like you wouldn't want you wouldn't want others just sharing that maliciously. You're just sharing it publicly. Yeah. So I need share. I need share. Or say. Yeah. You, yeah, so you, you wouldn't be okay with that. Yeah, that's that's all you gotta say. You wouldn't like it, it's like would you want someone sharing your address with everybody in the world? You know what I'm saying? Like you wouldn't want people like that, would you? No. No, nah, exactly. So you you wouldn't be okay. I think a lot of people wouldn't be. That's the thing. That's that's where I think I said uh, that's that's a good good point. So last month, specifically September 13th, actually, I was doing what I usually do on the weekends. I was streaming some Minecraft with a friend, uh, or sorry, streaming uh, streaming some Minecraft. Sorry, my apologies. Um, when a friend of yours, Ace underscore Brooklyn BK, and could you just clarify, do you know this person? Yes, in Illinois kid, just one from America. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, well, Ace underscore Brooklyn BK, a 10 year old child, my ad, um, came into my stream swearing, talking trash, and speaking about you. Now, initially, before we before you jump in, I can only kind of feel it. Now, initially, I did the mature and best thing I could. I ignored it, and I acted as if I didn't know who you were to not cause an argument or a discussion, considering I had no intentions to talk about you or even to you. However, after 20 minutes of the constant immature, you know, swearing from this kid Ace, vulgar behavior, account jumping, and just malicious, you know, just malicious activity in general, this young child shared my father's private phone number to 28 viewers live. I do know for a fact that this was you grooming this child to do this. I also do a proof of this, Sean, uh, of you being the person behind this malicious and private information sharing crime, because it's actually criminal. This is a crime. My question is therefore, Sean, why did you think it was appropriate to share my dad's phone number publicly without his consent or my consent to a 10 year old child and then to act to get that 10 year old child to act maliciously towards me without being you know, provoked or without any reason? He was on my Facebook. He got someone to do hack my Facebook. I didn't really want him to do it anyway, just giving you all that abuse. I'm sorry, so you're saying he got someone to hack your Facebook? Yeah. This 10 year old child got someone to hack your Facebook to get my dad's phone number. I've never given you my dad's phone number on Facebook. Would you go in person? So you've been through my message. There's, there's no phone. I never gave you my dad's phone number. Why would I give you my dad's phone number on no, Facebook? No, no. That I number you had. You gave me that number when it was your number. I yeah, way back in the day maybe, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't via Facebook. I think maybe via a call. But I mean, still, what? How? Why? Why would he? Why would your friend hack your number? Why would your friend hack your Facebook? I don't know. He, uh, so you're trying to elude that a ten-year-old child hacked your Facebook, Sean? Yeah. Seriously, a ten? Why would a ten-year-old child hack? Why? Why would the kid hack your? Why would the kid hack your Facebook? <laughs> He's a ten-year-old child. I don't know. He, you don't know. He just hacked your Facebook just to hack your Facebook. Yeah. Well, you sh you say this, Sean, but I've actually got proof um, of you speaking to Ducky, uh, Human Ducky. I'm pretty sure you know who I mean. Uh, where you explicitly said it was funny, and you done it. He hasn't been talking to me. I wasn't even talking to him. I've been talking right, to Right, okay. That, that's right. fine, but I'm just saying, I'm just trying to clarify. So, you gave this child my number. You didn't get hacked, Sean. That's lies. You, like, we're here I to be honest. Him. I said, so when I, Joe, I didn't say giving his number. Also, also, even if you were hacked, what does that got to do with anything? Yeah. 
Sean, if you can't answer the question, you can't answer the question. But Sean, it's a very simple question. You just said a minute ago you disliked your private information getting shared. So do I. So does a lot of people. As you know, I'm very private. Yeah. I like to keep my, my, my real life stuff and my you know online stuff, YouTube, completely separate for, you know, from, each, from each other. I keep real life people and my YouTube people all completely separate because I enjoy my privacy. Everybody should. You're allowed to have your own privacy. But you shared my father's private phone number with this 10 year old child and I got him to act maliciously towards me in the stream. You done this. Why did you do this? I didn't share that. Right, okay, okay, you're gonna keep saying this, but Sean, why did you get him to act maliciously then towards me? I didn't, he just wanted to do it. He just wanted to do it, but you, you said to Ducky it was funny. How was it funny? I said I didn't think got him too far before I went too far. But that's what I'm saying, Sean, you said it was funny to share my phone number, my dad's phone number, privately. I, you have my like you you have my number. I have my dad's phone number, right? You, we we both know this. You've got I've got your number. You have my so private was, phone number though. I have been and my mate Diddy had my Gmail, delete all my numbers of his phone, or much of delete of my phone. Right. Okay. But somehow you you you, you are equating that this ten year old child who doesn't know a single thing about hacking. Can we just say somehow managed to hack your Facebook? Do. And, but right. no, okay, I know some kids do, but I doubt this kid does. I've spoke to this kid, I've, I've met him once. My dad works for Microsoft. But, yeah, yeah, but like, you, you're, you're, you're alluding, or you're, you're trying to say that this 10-year-old child hacked your Facebook, somehow looked through all your conversations, because he wouldn't have, you know, to get my number or my dad's number, when I sent you this, this was over a year ago. If I sent you this, this yeah. would have been over a year ago. So he went back a year ago on our conversation explicitly for no reason. He doesn't even know my real name probably, but if he does, you would have told him that as well. But he somehow clicked on my name, went through my Facebook conversation with you, for, go, went a year back to get my dad's phone number to phone me, or to, not to phone me, but to put it in the stream. Then he sent, uh, so he's trying to film it, yeah. Okay, but Sean, that's what I'm saying. You, you. Do you hear unreal? How? That is so unrealistic, Sean. Nobody. Why would this child at 10 years old? Pro yeah, I mean, he doesn't know us. I'm not trying to be rude to the kid, but he doesn't know much. He's a young little child. You're a 24 year old grown man. He's 10 years old. Why would this 10 year old child, who I've only spoken to once, may I add, you somehow managed to hack your Facebook for one, but he hacks your Facebook and he's still your friend. But bit weird, that, if you ask me. But he hacks your Facebook. And then he gets my dad's phone number and then goes to the extent of putting it in the stream. But I mean, about that as well, you, you were saying something about, you know, he started bringing up something about uh, your house got busted for weed. No. No, he did. He brought he that didn't up. He didn't say the got busted for weed. He, no, he did. He brought that up. He, got, he, he said that in the stream. Then, which is stuff that you must say. My, my house didn't get busted for weed, for anybody curious. Uh, what was called, what was obtained, and I've already clarified this, was a 2 2 air rifle, and I, I think, what was it, 0. Four milligrams of uh, hash or micrograms of uh, hash. If you don't know, hash is an illegal substance. It's 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 yeah, it's illegal, but it's it's not worth anything. 0 0.5 gram is like the equivalent of two or three pounds, four pounds worth. It's nothing. Yeah, you know I mean, but my dad my dad smokes it to help him sleep. And you you obviously told this child this. How would he know this? I don't know, mate. Sean, can we just be honest? You don't have to lie. Sean, you can be real. No, nobody has to lie here. It's not, we're on a podcast. We're, but, we're, we're, but No, but Sean, we're, we're here publicly to speak about this. You're allowed to share your information. We don't have to act like we're, you know you have to be careful or tread water lightly. You can be honest. If you want to get annoyed, you get annoyed. If you yes. want to swear, swear. We, we don't care. We're only here to get the truth. But I am not. I can't move past this because that was so privacy invading. Like I, No matter how much I might dislike you, Sean, I might have issues with you or whatever, I don't share people's private information, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like that's it, I don't. I don't share people's private information. That's just not cool, that's not That's not right. And if I do, if I was ever to share, I'd share it with someone who actually knows you or someone who's actually friends with you. Because then I'll know, okay, well he's not gonna use it maliciously, he's genuinely a friend, he's only asking because he wants a number. That's fine. But I would still probably ask your actual permission first. But at the end of the day, you shared this with a 10 year old child and then that child shared it live to 20 people. And you were, there's proof, there's legitimate proof. I could get on this stream, on, on the screen right now if I need to on the podcast. There is proof of you saying to Human Ducky that you done this and that you thought it was funny. And I so, didn't say it to Ducky. You did? I, 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 no, I said I can read it. I can read it. I said, read it because out. Because you wish. tried to list dial the number. I, I said no to him. What, sorry? I told him no. I'm not in right. I ain't got proof of it as well. I got proof of what? I said no to Ducky. 
Let me see, sorry, let me see. I'm just trying to, I'm just having a look here right now, one second. Because I, I can get the original one up here as well. I just want to read this out for everybody watching uh, this this dog, this uh, thing. Because again, I just want to clarify, that was not funny. There's no, there's no part about that. That's not funny, that's not a joke, that's not a prank. You're sharing private information, that's illegal. But you're sharing that with 28 people, bro. Like, that's not cool, man. There was 28 viewers in that stream at the time. Luckily, the number is like hidden or whatnot. Numbers in general like that, they're hidden. But still, people could have got that phone number. I don't know, I didn't get to clarify for a fact if that was my father's phone number. I didn't get to actually specifically clarify. But you're you're alluding that a 10 year old child hacked your Facebook. This is the equivalent of when a child says, oh, I destroyed your Minecraft world, but it wasn't me, it was my brother. Like that was it. It just it just doesn't seem realistic, Sean, you know what I'm saying? I so I would really I would appreciate the truth. It doesn't matter. Like we're 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 in here in this documentary. I know I know it was you, you know what I'm saying? I know it was you, that's what I'm saying. That's that's the point. That's why I'm like, you know, I'm I'm kind of a little bit enraged about it because it's a factor, it's like that's not cool. I mean my dad didn't appreciate it. my dad never gave you consent to share his private phone number. I never gave you consent. It's it, that's just not that's not very nice. I mean come on man, there's jokes and that's just not a joke, you know what I'm saying. Let's see. I'll just try to check you right now. Just try, I'm just going back through all this, I'm just trying to find everything right here right now. Because uh, I'm sorry for, just, I know he's going to go on the next question, I'm sorry for really watching podcasts, but this is really, really, really important. Uh, because, I again... I already sent to for message, but not second image. See, I'm just having a look here. What have you done? Sending to Joe for image. Oh, I've got them. See, so Ducky, said one, here, and to, uh, uh, Ducky said here to just clarify. First right. one is not right, one down from someone else, for someone else. It's the second one you've sent you to right? kids yes, to yes. bully Sean, uh, to bully him, or to bully him, Sean. So this is, this is what Ducky said to you, you sending kids to bully him, Sean. You said no. He said, you are the one who uh, was the one in the wrong, not Joe. And you said, oh, I'm guessing no. And then he put, as I said, I don't give a shit about Joe, so I have no bias. You're being a dickhead though, Sean. This is what Ducky's own words were here to you. And Sean put, uh, you put, that kid was in a party, then Joe bullied me first, then that kid did he want to that on his channel. Now, just to, just to clarify, you, you provided this child with my phone number, or my dad's phone number, and then you've let him do this. Like, I'm not saying this was you on the kid's account doing this, I'm saying this was this kid who done this 100%, but you are to blame. You gave this child my phone number, or my dad's phone number, which was inappropriate on a whole new level. Even, even in the screenshot you've just sent me, though, Sean, you've just accused Joe of hate crime. Yeah, and we're going to get into that in a minute. Yeah, we're going to get into so that in a minute, but Sean... And it's one time I was in that stream, and you got someone told you off for bullying disabled. Which I, I didn't. I don't. I'm bullied. We, we're going to be speak about it, Sean. You can share your opinion, but I've never bullied a disabled person. I've never bullied you. I've never bullied anybody. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? But you said explicitly right here, and that's something I want to touch on, Sean. And it's really important. I feel like it's going to get a little bit heat, but that's fine. You, feel, you can get annoyed. You know what I mean? That's fine. We're having a discussion here, but you can get mad if that's how you feel. But you said that kid was in, a, in my party, then then Joe bullied me first. I'm, I'm sure you're referring to the time when I came and had to jump party to party to party because you're ignoring me and that's what you're saying I bullied you. Can you elaborate? How was I bullying you in that party? You know, I know, I know you're not... Uh, having... Hmm? Sorry. I didn't say that you were jumping for the party on that. No, no, I, I'm saying I was. I was doing it. I was on a jump to party yeah, to party because you kept running. In, uh, like, uh, like, so I like bad internet from parties. one party to another. Yeah. I know my internet like, is bad. So just to clarify for some context here before we get into this, at this point in time, I was trying to get you to come back down to my house. I wasn't trying to get you. That sounds very sketchy. I invited you to come back down and you said you wanted to come back down. I waited three or four yeah. months on you coming yeah, down, but obviously to. there was stuff going No, 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 but hold on. There was stuff going on. You had, you know, stuff they had to deal with and whatnot. But when it was coming down to me actually like, genuinely like, offering to pay for your tickets to come down, offering to pay for you to live here, like for food and all that kind of jazz, you were still adamant on that you couldn't do it because you had to work on your speakers, which were, we Googled at that point in time, they were, yeah, worth 300 pounds, but still, it wasn't that big a deal and you could have got them if you needed to. But you're saying I bullied you in the party. I did not bully, I came in the party because you would not, you would not join any parties of mine. You wouldn't answer phone calls, you wouldn't answer messages. I was like, what's going on here? This is kind of rude. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to contact you. So I had to join your public party with this kid. That was the first time I met this kid. And now you're saying I, I was bullying you. Can you elaborate on how I was bullying, please? So one in that love of one in the party about my age and right, love one. Are you, we're talking about this, uh, I forget his name, he's got the Minecraft city? Yeah, that was Minecraft city, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so wh wh what about him? He's about my age and right, he doesn't really talk as much. Yeah. Or he did crack to or pick him on himself. He has a lot of the time. 
Right, but I'm, I'm saying you were saying I was bullying you. This is what you were saying. This kid was in my party, then Joe bullied me first. Please tell me how I was bullying you, because I, I would love to elaborate. I wasn't bullying you, Sean. You're older than me. I'm 20. You're 24. It's not like you can't bully someone if they're older than you, but I wasn't bullying you, Sean. I was trying to get in touch with you, and then I was getting okay. uptight because I'd waited months on a response to a simple question, and you kept delaying it. But continue, please. I'd, I'd love to know how I was bullying you. So you can see it here publicly, because if I'm a bully, tell me how I'm a bully. I'm not trying to be confrontational, but it's like this truth. I'm, I'm not going to sit and have an allegation put against me. That isn't true. You always have not contact me. Things from quite lately, when like about a month ago, they messaged me quite a bit. Mm -hmm. We were speaking, we were pissed off, Ray. But I, well, I was pissed off? I think I was pissed off when I like, messaged to me. Uh huh. Right, and how does that make me a bully, though? I don't know. Oh, man. That just makes me annoyed. But just to clarify, I, I wasn't pissed off with Sean for no reason. I wasn't pissed off with you for no reason either, Sean, just to speak directly to you. I was pissed off because for months, three months, before the documentary aired that same night, you told me what happened to you. You told me that you lost your job, you lost your house. And I, I felt sorry. I felt genuinely bad for you yeah. because my dad told you before you left, and we can confirm this. I think I said this in the documentary. My dad told Sean before he left, Sean, if you go back home, if you go back down to England, all these people that are wanting you to come back down, your mom, all that kind of jazz, they will not care about you. They want you to come back down. I know it's. I know it's, it sounds cruel to say, honestly, folks, but it's true. They, 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 they wouldn't. They didn't care about him when he was down there. And then when he came up here, because he was having fun and he was gaining weight and he was gaining muscle and he looked well and he looked healthier, then they started caring about him. So then, when you went back down, that's what my dad said to you, Sean. If you leave, you will never come back. Not because you're not welcome back. That was never the case. But it was because you wouldn't have the willpower or the ability to be able to come back up. They wouldn't let you. And you went down and look where things are. You know what I'm saying? But. I never bullied you, Sean. I'd waited for three months after the the, the, the documentary aired to actually, like, because I, I said to you, listen, I'd love to do this podcast in person in my house, you know what I'm saying? But I'd love for you to come back down. I'll give you one more opportunity, you know what I'm saying? Genuinely, my dad was like, you know what, I feel bad for him as well, so I, and I said to him, I was like, no, I feel bad. You obviously, you still, a, you still a rough time. You have, you know what I'm saying? You've had a really rough time. You really have. Like, in the past year, being honest, can you even say yourself, you've had a rough year, you know what I'm saying? You've lost your house, job. It's been hard, you know what I'm saying? It has. Yeah. Right, but we felt bad for you, and I was like, oh, "Fuck, man, I feel he's my friend." You know what I'm saying? I feel bad, and I, I was like, "All right, you know, I'll invite you back down, Sean." And even though it was it was very controversial, I remember like even some of my best buds, Re and others, and whatnot, were like, "Joe, what are you doing? Don't don't invite Sean back down." You know, I mean, you know what happened last time? I said, "Listen, hey, this is all me. I personally want to invite him back down because he's my friend. I feel bad for him. I feel like he's had a, a hard time. I want to help him out." And I tried to invite you back down, and you kept flinging it back in my face. For the first month, you're like, oh, I can't, you know what I mean? Like, this was after the documentary, though, but you're like, I, th this was for about four or five months, to be honest, maybe even six. It was ridiculous. It was six months. But for the first month after the documentary, there was nothing really talking about. Second month, nothing. Third month, there was kind of a little bit banner. Fourth, there was really much as well. There was quite a bit more. And I was like, Sean, you know, l let's do it. Come on down. And you're like, no, well, I've got to arrange stuff. Um, first of all, I need to... Your, your first excuse on this kind of like plethora of excuses was that at first you needed to tell the people that you're living with currently that you, you had to give them a, a month's notice before you left, which that isn't the case. You can just leave. You can, you're a grown man. You could walk out and leave. You can say, hey, listen, I'm leaving. Thank you. Bye bye. And you can leave. You're a grown man. And we, we told you this, but you had to give them a, a month's notice. But then you, your first main, that was like the second excuse. Your first main excuse was the fact that you needed to get your, your stuff out of storage. Can you confirm this? I'm not yes, lying. I yeah. still can't get my stuff yet from You still storage. can't, right? Well, Sean, you told me that you need to get your stuff at storage. I went, okay, no, that's totally understandable. You you know, who wants to leave their, their, their hometown without their stuff? And just to clarify, you'd also said to me privately and public, like, not publicly, but pri like privately that you genuinely want to come back down. You're like, I love where yeah, I love that where you stay. You know, it's lovely. I told you we can go play tennis, we can go do whatever. It's a beautiful place where I live, genuinely, people, right? Sean's been there. It is a beautiful place. The weather isn't the best, but it's beautiful. But we, Sean was excited to come back down, it seemed. And he was adamant that he wanted to come back down. And I was like, hey, Let's make it happen. Yeah, you know I mean, I, I don't want to waste any time. I don't want to see my friend sitting there in, in, in a poor position, struggling, and like come to deal with trashy circumstances. I want to help him right here, right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm fortunate enough to be able to do that. I want to help you right here, right now. And I invite you up, and you're like, oh, get my, I gotta get my stuff out of storage. I was like, how long will that take? You're like, uh, it, it, you know, I, I gotta I got phone them up. I told you, phone them up, give them a call. You didn't do it, so that was that. So we put off by another month. This was two months before the end. Um, again, you were just kept continuously putting off and off and off. You weren't caring, and then. That time in that party, the reason why I got annoyed was because I joined and I said, Sean, did you phone people up? You said, yeah, I phoned people up about my stuff. This was like a day before. And you said, the lady said to you, you can come get it, but like only when they open on Monday or something like that. So you could go get your stuff. You st you're saying you still don't got it right now, but that's I your said, choice. I didn't say, so when I would find up, 
and then just put it off, didn't even phone me back up, and just been a problem with me. But you've got, to, you've got to phone them and be like, listen, I need my stuff. You had to be, you got to be the one who's like there speaking to them, telling them, I need it. I need, there's no, I need it now. But you, you, you won't. But like that was the thing, you just kept putting it off and off and off and off and off. You could get your stuff though, there was no question. I remember you legitimately saying, the lady said, you can get your stuff but only when they're open, which is like in a few days. But you can get your stuff out of storage. But then, the next, the, what I got annoyed about was that day, and there was actually a witness who came in that party in fact, so funny enough I could, I could even get him. Um, but there was a witness who came in that party and whatnot. But what annoyed me so much was the fact that I joined your party, you kept avoiding me, you kept ignoring me and avoiding me that entire day and for the past couple of days beforehand. And nobody likes being ignored, you know what I'm saying? I don't especially, especially when I'm trying to help someone out. But you kept ignoring me. I eventually got hold of you though by joining your party with this young kid in it. And I wasn't trying to be rude, but we're having a conversation. And then you I, I, you were like, oh, you know, I, I, I don't know. I was like, when do you think you'd come down? You're like, next month or, uh, or you, no, you're, what was it? You're like, um, oh, probably in a few months or something like that. I was like, Sean, you just said that like last month. You said you'd be come down, you know, at the beginning of this month. You're like, oh, well, you know, in a few months. And I was like, you know, I, I was totally perplexed. I was like, dude, like what the hell? And I ended up saying to you, have you even told the people that you're living with that you're going to be leaving in 30 days? Like, if you have to give them notice, if you gave them any notice and you went no. And that's why I got annoyed because I was like, you you just don't care. You'd rather sit here and play with this 10 year old kid or other like people. You'd rather just sit here and play games than change your life. I was offering, and you can confirm this, Sean. This is not a lie. I'm not a liar. I genuinely, I offered to pay for Sean's train tickets down. I was looking up train times every single day to try and make it convenient for you. I was trying to arrange transportation to pick you up from the train station so there was no stress. I was trying to, you know, I was like, hey man, if you don't have any food, if that's what you're worrying about, I'll pay for your food. If it's, you know, I worry that, oh, what if I come down and Joe is CV and whatnot, we all have an argument and I have to leave, I've got nowhere to go. We already told you dead ass, no, that would not be the case. You pay your own rent, but it would not be the case. If you totally totally chill, everything be fine, you know what I'm saying? But you just kept delaying me and wasting time. And I mean, Sean, after six months of being like continuously delayed, I was annoyed. Like, call me a bully, okay, but I was annoyed. I was annoyed at you, but like that was it. I didn't bully you though and start calling you names. I was just uptight with you. But I sat in that party with you that day for three hours. You failed to mention this, but I sat in that party with you for three hours that day. Three hours. Sat in that party with you the entire time, trying to speak to you. And you're sitting giggling and talking to this 10 year old kid, Ace. And then it got to the point where I was like, I'm gonna have to leave. I got stuff to do. I got to stream. Like, I'm done. I, there's, we're not getting anywhere. And I was like, fuck this, man. I'm done. Yeah, I mean, whatever. And that was it. But I'm not, a, you're saying stuff like I'm a bully here and whatnot. And again, I, I don't appreciate this. I'm sorry for dwelling on so long for everybody watching podcasts, but this is serious to me because that isn't the case, you know what I'm saying, right? Um, and I said, giving away my personal phone number, my dad's phone number, that was cruel. That was wrong and that was out of order. And you should at least apologize for that because that was your fault. I'm saying, yeah. my dad's, my, so do you, uh, saying yep something. Can you at least actually please apologize? Should I have to say yeah, please? Sorry. I, yeah, okay, sorry, man. Yeah, because like I said, it's just, I'm not trying to be like the dude here, but at the end of the day, like, I'm being real. We're, we're here to have a, a, a discussion, a conversation, but you, you did give that kid my phone number. Whether you want to admit it or not, I know you can take it to the grave. I don't care. I know for a fact you gave that kid my phone number. And you told Ducky then. You gave that kid my phone number. You found it funny that he put it in the stream. And you, you done it maliciously for no reason. I didn't even message you. I wasn't even bothering you. You came into my stream with the kid getting him to start hating. I even, for the, the whole 20 minutes, was like, I don't even know who Sean is. Like just trying to be like as polite as possible to try and like uh, stay away from any sort of arguments but you, you were just adamant on trying to start some issues and then i had to stop the stream like at one point for a few seconds and say hey listen i know you're watching this i'm done with the charade i know you're watching this you better stop now or honestly i'm gonna get i'm gonna get really annoyed like i'm gonna have to report you to, to like the police or all the stuff you've done like i was annoyed i was uptight because i was like dude that's not cool like you're sharing private information that's illegal like that, that right there is there, is, there any, is there any proof of this kid hacking your Facebook? I don't know. I got a totally got a number from that set. So, I know. Joseph, what do you think here, man? Joseph's, Joseph, I'm sorry. Joseph's in here as like the co-host, but like he's fucking sitting here. Yeah, no. Nah, um, I, I don't know. It, it, it comes down to the whole, you know, whether he did hack his Facebook or not, which he didn't. Kids don't do that. Like kids, kids. kids say that. All the, I'm not sure if you've ever been in a Black Ops 2 lobby. <laughs> you know, kids kids always claim to know how to hack. It's BS most of the time. Um, regardless, if you want to say you're sorry or not, um, that's up to you. Like Joe, you can take it. To, like Joe said, you can take it to the grave. Yeah. Um, however, it does take a bigger man to you know admit know it and apologize. Wrong and apologize. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to yeah. make up and see what happened, just so we can get to the bottom yeah. of it and uh, hopefully make amends and. 
you know, come out of this as better people. Yeah. Because that's why we're here. That's why we are, you know, live. That's we live, we learn, you know. And like, I, so I, yeah, I, I would appreciate it for Joe if you if you did if you truly think, you know, now if you truly think that he, you were hacked and you know that you were hacked, fine, whatever. But if you know deep down, because I know what me and Joe don't believe it. No. I don't think that you're lying. Is believe it. Please do say. Yeah, please just be honest. It takes a big line just to say, like, it. dude, what else can happen that's gonna be bad? Like, listen, I'm a little bit uptight right now, but it's because it's, it's because you're lying about that. But it's also because of the bully thing. I don't like getting called something I'm not. I'm very anti-bully, right? But at the end of the day, dead serious. If you say you done it, what's the difference? It's not gonna ch it's not gonna make things worse. You're actually gonna make things better because you're gonna be. And even if you, yeah, if you say you've done it, you you you'd look like a better person. And it's it's everyone yeah. has the chance to change. Exactly. It's not like we can grab you right here, and be like, oh, Sean, tell me the truth. You'll say like, I can't. You're you're through a mic. I can't do anything. You'll say I'm. I wouldn't do anything, but I'm just I can't. It's like at the end of the day, could you please just be honest? Okay. So, it was you who done it, yeah. Yeah, my fault, sorry. So you, you did give the kid my number, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to get you to say, honestly. Yeah, I took it. So I even wasn't trying to get him arguing with you. He wanted to do it, push it too far as well. He wouldn't that's push it. it even further. He kept asking me for a dress. So that See, that's what I'm saying, too. that's what I'm saying. That's, that's why you got to be careful, man, because that's the thing like that's not cool that's like this is a 10 year old child that doesn't understand that he himself is becoming involved with this and it's not his business you're involving a 10 year old kid in a, a, an adult a, a, an adult situation it's not cool like that's what i'm saying you've got to be careful about that yeah um, he asked him for a dress yeah and that's that's too far right okay we're, we're nearing the end of our questionnaires we've got a few more to go on but i think we're gonna take one more quick ad break guys or not ad break one more quick break uh, just for a second actually and then we're gonna come right back to us i know everyone's like god damn man that was, that was a heat debate for a good uh, couple of minutes there but we, we all just need to take a beaver for a second so sorry but we'll be, right, we'll be back right after the break on part three in the final part of this q a all right or of this q and of this podcast so thank you guys for watching see you guys after the break all right peace peace Welcome back, legends and specimens, to part three of the 11th episode of The Forgotten Podcast. I'm once again, and always have been, joined by the best co-host, which is the cat, the man, the legend, Catman Joe, hey. and also our very special best, the guest, best, west, the best guest, uh, Sean Elite Gamer. So, nice. hello, and uh, welcome back. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciate. Right, sorry about that little break, everybody. Hope everybody didn't mind it. Um, right, so we're just going to jump right into the deep end of this one. It's kind of right in the deep end of the pool, so hopefully uh, we're all tall enough to get past it because it's going to be by far one of the most, I, I feel like, you know, uh, awkward and, I guess, personal questions that we're going to ask you, Sean, so I do apologize in advance. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so although this is incredibly awkward, uh, it's, this is an incredi incredibly awkward question and undoubtedly the most personal we are going to ask you today, Sean, I do believe it's important for context for everybody to paint a clear picture of who you are as a person and what you've been through in your, you know, your, your life for these past 24 years. Um, have you ever been sexually abused? Yes. Would you mind saying, was it by, uh, you know, people of your own age, adults, or just yourself? Like, sorry. I say a lot about in adult age when I was little. By adults or by, like... Adult. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for answering. That takes a lot. Thank you. I'm not going to go into that much deeper, but thank yeah, you. Yeah, living on the same... I'm living on St. Street as me as well. Even worse. What? Back then? Or now? Yeah. Back then, yeah. Well, the person who sexually abused you, they were living on the same street as you? Yeah. When they were adults? Yeah. Would you say that has potentially and I, 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 again it's a bit of an awkward question would you say the abuse that you I, I, what would be the word here? I'm, I'm not good at like, wording this would you say the abuse you well, would you doing? say that the abuse that you had encountered has influenced you in any way in your current uh, your, your adult life yeah I think so I'm not 100% sure does it does it bother you or did you get counselling or it took in bother me quite a bit do you still have contact with this person or not? No. Alright, that's, that's good. Was any action taken against that person? Went to court, that's it. Nothing really happened since then. Did the person okay. not get locked up or anything? Or? No, he just got on warning and that's it. That's, that's terrible. That's 
she should definitely be locked up. Be like that. It's disgusting. Yeah. But uh, I'm sorry about that. It was, just, it was a question I felt was genuinely important to the, the thing of, uh, of the of the the questions to paint a clear picture. But thank you for answering honestly. That's very much appreciated. That's good. You're thank welcome. you. Um. Okay, Joseph. Sorry. All right. So. Uh, what are your thoughts and opinions on plagiarism? You know, uh, just for the definition. The act of taking someone else's work or ideas and passing them off as one's own. Uh, do you think it's perfectly fine uh, practice or a sleazy thing to do? Just wrong and right to do it. You think it's yeah. wrong? Just keep it all you say or yourself that it's someone else doing it. Okay, so your answer is interesting to me. Because, um, well, why did you plagiarize Catman Joe's video, Minecraft PS4 Bedrock, how to fix the CE, and then uh, 348 78 That's zero. zero blue screen bug? Yeah, either bug. way, it's a bug. bug. Uh, Catman Joe uploaded this originally on September 22nd, and then the very next day you uploaded yours, September 23rd, an event, and even copied his description. And do you have, and what do you have to say about this? There we are. Thank you, God, you myself, and about that picture on the internet okay so that's only my but, mate helped me in description but he was that with but me you, 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 that time you copied my description was copied it had my words like the wording for the description was my actual description i released the video the day before so and uh, that, a couple of hours before i did i would not was the day before it was actually the day before it was the 22nd just was the 23rd and the, the whole description had been copied Mine done in about two o'clock. Uploaded two o'clock. Well, it, it was mad because I, I I saw mine. I saw I, I didn't actually see it. Uh, I want to just give context. I didn't actually see your video. I got informed about it by you I, unintentionally when you when I believe Jack had invited you to a party, but you were blocked by me in it. So you tried to join, and Jack said uh, it was as about Joe's video. You said to him, and I I had no clue what he was talking about. So I checked your channel. Uh, yeah. I'm not subscribed, obviously, but I, I did check I the channel. I saw that you quite a bit for you. Didn't say more than I normally get. Well, yeah, I, I noticed, I noticed, but I, I don't, I don't think. I feel as if you you saw mine and you you took the idea and ran with it. I mean, because it, it was very, it was identical to my video. Yeah, I didn't. Got my mate was in the seventh room. Then he come in, do my thumbnail, and done his description for me. Done much better than I do normally do. No, it's because it was mine. <laughs> it's just because it was mine. Uh, anyway, uh, my next question here, Sean, is are you currently addicted or using any drugs, legal or illegal? So this could be medicated by, a, you know, a, a, obviously a doctor or are you using anything legal? Nagging, doing weed, nagging. Not done about three months now. So you smoked weed, but only in the past three months? So now again, I have it. In my okay. Just have my pain in my back most of the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then have uh, that. Any, anything else legal or illegal do you get like prescribed any medication from the, the doctors or are you on I'm just on medication that I've been stopped for a long time were you also your own medication previously what was that for for my behavior type my behavior oh. I'm sleeping okay uh, why did you why did it stop it just and sleeping one does not work and behavior one just don't really need it. Okay. All right. Well, following on from Joe's question, are you currently still drinking alcohol? If so, how often do you drink? I do drink it now again. Are you drinking right now? No, just drinking juice. Okay. When was the last time you drank alcohol? It's been about a week or so. But would you would you dare I say call yourself an alcoholic, or would you say you got under control? average people drink now again well, don't have uh, so that much you don't drink that much okay okay would you would you because I, I know at one point you were quite you know you were you you know you like drinking quite a bit at one point um so would you say now it's just that's more of a pastime as opposed to a daily hobby yeah just money well and come with your ass to spend in go out to get some drinks yeah um, how has COVID-19, of course, affected your life personally this year? Quite bad. When it's lost that, when it's just in lockdown, when it cost lost my job, things went worse from there. So it was just the beginning of lockdown? Yeah, when I lost the job, yeah. 
And is there anything else that's affected you by? Like, of course, losing your job is obviously a major thing, but has there been other kind of benefactors in there or has that just been one of the key ones? So a bit awkward do cottage work at home. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the kind of so what, what, I, I, Did you go back to college? Sorry. Yeah, I went back to college this year. Do some catering stuff, doing a little bit more cooking. Is anyone else experiencing lag? Is that just me? He is cutting out slightly, you're, but he's fine now. You're cutting out slightly a little bit there, Sean. Oh, it's all good now, it's all good now, I would say. Um, okay, so I mean, so why did you go back to college? Is that just, were you told to? Do you have to, or is it just you, you wanted to go back? I wanted to go back. What's the plan goes back? When I was doing, doing being chef. I was going to be chef at work. Okay. Before I got fired. That was all sort the of plan. How's you... How's your studies? How's your studies going? Going all right. So I've had all this paperwork stuff to do on the computer. Yeah, it's because you're it's because you're doing catering, isn't it? Yeah, because it's the hygiene stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Although this might be a rather personal question, um, I, I I do doubt it's not as personal as the previous one. Um, if you don't wish to answer, that's totally fine. You don't have to and whatnot. But what would you say your sexuality is? Are you straight? Bisexual, homosexual, or other? I sound bi. And you're bisexual? Yeah. Are you currently in any relationships with anybody? No, I'm single. I'm mean, trying to find some girls right, right age to me. And just the same penalty as me. Okay. Well, uh, Sean, uh, recently, okay, so you, obviously you sent me your messages early on Discord. I want to follow up from that quite briefly. Uh, we found out about your plans to get Catman Joe somehow charged with hate crimes. Obviously, even you said this on the Discord, yeah. so I know that this is true. Um, could you please explain how he committed a hate crime against you? I mean, it was on some point in one stream, I was in, I think someone same someone said Joe stop bullying for, for disable but what, I mean, what just, was it I said I think that's what was just loading I didn't to, sorry didn't yeah. tell him much I was in that long in the way when I Happen. If you were considering getting me charged with a hate crime, you must have thought I said something pretty inappropriate. And I'd love to know what exactly it yeah, was. I, just... I think I think I, I've I've called one. I think I can recall one word that I've used, and that would be. And I apologize for it beforehand because I know it is a very offensive word and whatnot. And it's not it's not the case, but I, I use that anger. I think I referred to you at one point during the Twitch streams when I was annoyed. And I think it was the night that we did fall out heavily. I, re I referred to you as a retard. I, I called you, I said, you know, F you or fuck you, you know, you're a retard, that's not what I, I don't think I said it like that, but I said it, you know, item retardy, whatever. I just want to clarify, if that was the word, I'm not too sure, but if that was the word, I want to just clarify. I do not I, think I that know. you are a I retard. Things like that, yeah. Yeah, I, I just want, I don't think you're, re I've actually said on a few different occasions that people can find the quotes of it. I never thought you were stupid. I never thought you, you, you're you an imbecile or anything like that. You make some mistakes. Everybody does it. But, you know, when yeah. we're annoyed, a lot of people use words that they, they regret using. Um, and that's, you know, that's how it is. It's just, you know, you're, you're annoyed. You're trying to voice yourself and kind of tell people off or trying to really hit them deep and cut them deep, whatever. Um, and I, I think I use the word retarded. I've, I've called people that, you know, have, don't even have disabilities that word before and whatnot. And uh, it, it's wrong. It is wrong. It's wrong. It becomes, it's more of it a becomes quite a natural part of speech, it, yeah. though, when you use it. But in the UK as yeah. well, Sean's from the UK, Joseph, you're from the UK. We'll know yourselves. The words like those, they are used a lot. You know, we aren't, like, you know, yeah. maybe not so much in the US, perhaps it is, though, but it is. I know in the UK, definitely use quite a bit. Um, but I have said, even in the documentary about you, Sean, I've even clarified, I don't think you're stupid. I never thought you were stupid. You're a smart young man, and, you know, that's very clear. You know what I'm saying? You, you're a very intelligent young man, and you're aware of your circumstances, and you know what's going on. Um, there's times where you can act pretty stupid, but who can't? I act pretty stupid as well sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I never does. thought, and I never said that. Yeah, exactly. I never I never said once, so, like, genuinely, I meant that you're actually retarded. Of course not. Like, you're, you're a smart young man. I've clarified a few times that I've said that. Again, in the documentary, someone can go find a quote if they need to. Well, that was that was interesting. Uh, <laughs> so, following on from Joseph's question, um, with the information I saw regarding you wanting to get me charged with a hate crime, you also mentioned that I wanted a war. Um, I just want to clarify, uh, just for the reference, all right? I never said that, never ever. Uh, but would you like to elaborate on what you think or when you think I did, or how you interpreted that I wanted a war with you? I follow you. Just want to war very. You know, some point in stream that after someone keep carrying on, we're speaking to you, 
I think then run to war with him, babe, something like that. Never said the words war. I never, I never referred to it. I'm going to war with Sean. I never said this. Um, I, I think. Oh, some end game. Yeah, shit. some end fucking end game shit or some World War Three. They will never get us on the beaches. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, like I ain't no Winston Churchill. But at the end of the day, I think the only time I I, I might have said that I was an audience. I never said war. I never said that I wanted war. Yeah, that sounds like such a, a cringy thing to say. I think I've, I've explicitly maybe said. I think when the child ex tried to put my dad's phone number in the chat or one or, or did. All that kind of shit. That was when I was annoyed you, but I never said that I want war. I said like, hey, if you want to keep playing games like that, I can do the same thing. I can, I can play petty, but I'm not gonna play it like that. I would just want the police because that's not allowed. That's actually against the, the law. So that yeah. was it. But I, I never, I never, I never sat with war people. It's even, you know, um, there, there's conversation. I don't want to get into it here, but like there's conversations with other people and whatnot. I've said that there's like a quote that I, I, I live by, and it's by a Tupac one. And it's the fact that it's like. Um, just because you know i don't want to be friends with you doesn't mean that i don't want you to you know have any other friends i don't want any, i don't want that you know what i'm saying just because i don't want you to eat with me doesn't mean i don't want you to eat in general it just means i don't want you to eat at my table you know what i'm saying it's the same kind of concept where it's like i don't like you maybe but it doesn't mean i, want, I don't i want the worst for you like what the fuck? i don't have that time i don't have time to be sparing like just like i want him to fail or anything like that or want war like that's just it's, it's just not really necessary hey. right well <laughs> <laughs> segways eh? uh, <laughs> you mentioned in one of your final voice messages to Joe which we can play it necessarily to you but you mentioned you mentioned, fucking hell, you mentioned how you hoped he died of the virus most likely implying COVID-19 Consider considering I'm dyslexic considering you mentioned mentioned uh, want me to take over want me to take you, over yeah please uh, I'm yeah, too okay. tired <clears throat> You Go mentioned in one of your final voice messages to Joel, which we can play if necessary to you, but you mentioned how you hoped he died of the virus, most likely implying COVID-19, considering you mentioned that somehow Joel committed a hate crime against you. Would you say you threatened Joel? I think you didn't, Joel, because when you was threatening me, I think voice message, uh, how you died of Brussels or something like that, I think. I think the first voice, voice message. I wasn't sending voice messages. I was I was sending texts. You kept sending me fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck. You, you couldn't respond to my messages towards you, but you kept saying fuck you, fuck you, fuck you just continuously. So it was getting us nowhere, and I was like, you know, this again fucking immature, and I was I was flinging insults back, but I wasn't sending voice messages. But you had said, I hope you die of the virus. I can play if necessary. Like I can, I can get it if we if you if we want to just if you want to have a bit of a refresh. Um, because I, I have got it here saved on my on my Discord. I also have it on my phone as well. Um, it's my fucking rental, you know what I'm saying? But like, no, it's, um, <laughs> it, you know, I, again, it's the end of the day. Would you say that's a threat, though? That you hope someone dies of a virus? Would you interpret that as a threat? Or a threat? Um, as a threat? Yeah. Um, I wouldn't take it as a threat, I'd take it as an insult. Okay, well, I, I get that. I get that. Well, let me let me just try here. Let me just I'll, I'll play this here, and Sean, you can give us uh, your live feedback on this. It depends on the tone and stuff, though. I'm assuming. <laughs> this was I'm yours. In, in fucking my age, I know what I'm fucking doing. Uh, fuck yourself, Joe. There was a few different ones, so my apologies. You don't know what I'm like, what I'm like. Oh, you know, you're bad. You're not bad enough. You think it is? But fucking pain in a way. You need to sort your fucking life out and just start giving shit about me. You want to help me? Just come and help me. That's fucking sick. How enough of you are going to and piss? And get you fucking done with one wall. I'm guessing this was the hate crime you're referring to. In a way, um, go fuck yourself. And, and that's your fucking dad doing it so. And that, there was that one, but there was also. Joe, go fucking listen to this. I'm so fucking being any fucking kiss. And just leave me fucking alone. Do you want to come down and sort me out? Just come do it. Just fucking you. Um, I've got this letter that's fucking spelling and reading me fucking awkward. Don't give sh fucking shit. Just go fuck yourself. If you're doing your dad, do your dad as well. I fucking mean it. I hope you die of fucking virus. <laughs> and that was a quote. So would you say that would because from those voice messages, I don't know how would you interpret that. Would you say that was a threat? Would you would you, would you threatening? I'm trying not being oh. threatened. I think I was, I think I was really pissed off. That day. Uh, you 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 definitely pissed off. But I mean, it was like, would you say 
you were trying to threaten, or would you say it was just you pissed off? I think I'm pissed off. Okay, okay, fair enough. Fair, that's fair enough response, I, I don't judge. Um, okay, so you mentioned on a few different occasions, uh, even just the other day with Joseph actually, uh, how you were curious if my channel got banned, and actually at the beginning of the podcast you mentioned this as well, along with my PlayStation account. I couldn't help but think this was because you falsely reported or reported, uh, you falsely reported or reported, I don't know, falsely reported uh, me believing you, were, uh, believing you were correct. So I'd like to ask you if you did, uh, or did you, and why did you, if you did? No, I didn't do it. I got told by that AC, that fucking one. So he, he got, reported me, do you think? He got told, he got kind of got banned. I done that as in quite a few people, if your account got banned. Mm -hmm. I recall hearing from Jack and a few others. I just want to clarify, I never got banned. <laughs> I haven't been banned yet, I haven't done nothing wrong, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got but, banned on Twitter. Yeah, no, no I got my Twitter, I didn't even get banned that. I lost my, I lost my account on Twitter because I couldn't send in. Lost the freaking password and also I couldn't get the phone number thing. Um, but enough, yeah, so so you didn't report me at all. You didn't uh, on Twitch, YouTube, or PlayStation. I, re I honestly I report you on YouTube. That's it. And, and a couple of times then stop. So nothing gonna so happen from that. So you did report me on YouTube, yeah. Yeah, I reported nothing would happen from that. Celebi, and the world goes on. <laughs> okay, Joseph, you can go ahead. <laughs> you were right, man. Okay. Oh, so I don't even bother with PlayStation. I know your PlayStation is quite important to you for your uh, YouTube yeah. and Twitch. What? I'd say YouTube more important than the PlayStation, but yeah. Yeah, that was how I <laughs> need PlayStation for all the games you play for t YouTube. Yeah, well, if I don't have a YouTube, there's no games to play. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, but I, yeah. I, I like the kind of argument, but go uh, ahead. Well, so we know before you and Joe fell out recently that Joe had actually invited you back down to him and his father's home. I sound like a narrator. Uh, <laughs> to live with them. Why exactly did you not take this opportunity? So I got, I would come back down. There's only so lot of stuff up here first. What what exactly is it that you need to sort? You said because I just want to clarify it from the record. So many tried that just need sorting out. So we're getting sorted already. Taking a long time to get sorted to their side. Who helping me get that sorted? Well, that's great. You have a debt currently outstanding, don't you? Yes, a lot. How much? How much is that now? Has it gone up or has it went down? I think it's not going up by council. I remember I think I own three thousand just from there. God damn, that's a, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. That, that before um, I got by kick kick out from from my own place, I own only two thousand. Well, is that not because of rent? Could you just give some context here. You owed the council rent because you stay overstayed in your house without being able to pay rent. Not overstay. I didn't even pay rent. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like you overstayed because you weren't supposed to be there because uh, you weren't paying rent. But like you, well, you, you weren't you're supposed to be there. But yeah, I'm saying like you, you weren't to a degree. Uh, excuse me. So you currently owe them three thousand. Have yeah. you had any debt collectors or anything like that at you? Or are you still alright? No, I keep getting letters from council. That's it. Alright, and where do you think that's going? How do you think that's going for you? I don't know, it's going to get someone else to help me out, sort it out. Them taking ages to sort it. Alright, okay. Um, well, sadly, uh, our last question for this interview then would easily be what are your plans after this podcast ends regarding me, regarding my channel, regarding my community? Do you plan on trying to come back or are you going to leave it and never return? I'll try to be a friend with you again and enjoy more mess around with you again. It's quite a fun mess around with quite a bit and channel. Well, you're going to give away my phone number this time. You'll sell my address. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is real quick. you got to be careful. Yeah, so I'm not going to do that anyway. All right. Well, no, that's a good answer. Uh, do you have any questions for us? Like at all for the entire thing? Do you have you did say you had some you stuff had one, for when yeah, we're so done. Come on, answer. All. Give us some if you yeah. have any. So I need some tips to improve my channel a bit. So I know I need a bit of thumbnail and the description better. I think up I don't know the best time to upload is. I can definitely help you with best time to upload. Okay. It's never. Play. Yeah, pretty much. Never but try, no, never fail, you yeah. You've you've got to know your audience in a sense. Yeah. I uh, obviously do Minecraft and uh, Apex, so obviously there's like a there is definitely a difference, but there's like not much of a difference. If you want to find out when schools end, 
you want to then do that on the week. Uh, uh, you want to find out when local schools and that sort of stuff end, and then you want to upload after the times that they end. And then all I'd recommend is in the middle of the week on Wednesdays is when people's actual media usage is actually at its highest. I learned that in my media course. Also when I worked for a social media team. And also in the weekend, uh, the later the better is pretty much yeah. how it works. I know yeah. all my views is between America and France. And the UK. Oh, and France. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's still UK time. So. What, is, there an, is there a time difference in France? An hour. An hour. Well, yes, it doesn't really matter that much then. Yeah. Uh, Based off UK time then, if that's your bigger audience, because I know, I found out a, uh, I know this stupidly off, to off topic, but five percent of my viewers are Japanese. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Anime lovers. That's what it is. Yeah, bro. So <laughs> big up the weebs, bro. <laughs> yeah. The most views I get in is all from America. I think that most of my from there. The most people think. Oh. I'm living there. Or there. Sorry, I, I, I'm just gonna ask. I'm just gonna ask. Um, I mean, aside from like that question, is there any other questions you have, like directly, like yeah, regarding the questions that we asked you, or was there anything that you had hoped that we had brought up, question-wise? Like, was there any questions that you expected didn't get answered, and what were they? I think we brought all our questions I want to ask. All right. Okay. I'm glad to hear. Glad to hear. That's good. That's my research paid off. Oh, actually, I've got one more question okay. for you. Are you satisfied with your appearance on the Forgotten Podcast? I'm satisfied. Yeah, I'm satisfied about it. You're satisfied about yeah. it? You think that this was a good thing? Yeah, great if everything go better for each and other now. I mean, this right. is this has been a long time coming. Can we just add that? Like, we, we've been meaning to get this podcast oh, yeah. this episode for a long time. Um, yeah, we, we, actually, we were going to make this episode 10. Give, to give Sean some credit, we did invite Sean on the podcast during the documentary, and I really would recommend you watch the documentary in full, Sean, if you've not seen it yet. There was a lot of stuff in there that I felt like you, you definitely really missed out on seeing if you didn't watch it all. There was a lot of stuff there. Three hours long, of course, it is incredibly lengthy, but there's your vlog, there's my vlog, there's a whole story. It's actually rather insane, and there's a lot to it, and I think there's a lot that you really you definitely missed out on, and I'm, I'm kind of sad that you didn't watch it fully. Yeah. Um, but... At the end of the day, I think this is good to get this podcast done. We've been really wanting to get this podcast done for a long time. Uh, you know, this has been in the making for months. This has been one of, you have been, and I'll give you this, you've been one of the most, if not the most ever, anticipated guests we've had on the podcast. There was people that were genuinely, like, honestly let down that you might not be in the podcast um, because they wanted to know your opinion after the documentary and what you had to say about some of the allegations and stuff like that. So I do have to say, regardless of my feelings on you, or for you i do have to say that I, I do appreciate that i do i have to say i genuinely whether i like like to admit it or whatever i have to say i'm a bigger man i'll be honest i, I appreciate that. i respect you actually came on the show um we personally didn't know what to expect tonight we thought maybe you might be drunk you might personally you know be on fucking crack like i didn't know you know what i'm saying whatever you have to do to get like a, you know feel comfortable and comfortable confident um but i appreciate your answers you know what i mean i appreciate the fact you you actually went there and you went and came with it and uh, the cooperation one was very appreciated one so yeah i hope everybody watching had a, a good night watching i hope everybody enjoyed the answers that sean gave and enjoyed the, the questions that we gave um this has been a very anticipated podcast i'm glad that we finally got it done and also congratulations once again um on being the first ever guest on the forgotten podcast and this goes down in history for the podcast the first ever guest who's came on who actually has less than a thousand subscribers there's ne never been a guest that's came on who has not got less than a thousand and you're the first one on so i mean for me and joseph i'm sure and from the community one else, congratulations on that Thank you. it's good it's good stuff um but yeah like uh as i said man congrats on that man and uh i guess yeah i know joseph any any final words you want to say before i call this night i'm not gonna lie when you were celebrating i was looking around my room for my uh party poppers i have little gunpowder ones couldn't find them and now God i'm damn. upset but yeah. Sad nah, i think Sad that's thing. it i think i'm pretty happy with the result well of the day. um before i end i'd like to just say uh sean would you like to promote yourself or would you like to me too or what's up would you like, give yourself any self promotion? You have the you have yeah. this opportunity. You have the floor. The floor is yours. Go and check my YouTube channel. It's Channel Elite Gamer, and you can check for my Twitch account. It's Channel Elite Gamer as well. You want to friend me on PlayStation or Xbox? Both the gaming tag is same. It's Channel Elite Gamer. See you guys in the next podcast for Joe, Cameron, Joe, and right. Kiris. And see you guys in the next Thank video. You,
There you go. And uh, big, big ups to my boy Xavier. He's been here the entire time. Xavier's actually, again, he's in here co-recording us just in case for extra audio, in case there's any issues. Once again, uh, quick so note. Thank you to him. On Xavier's note. Uh, still, Discord. thank you. And if you haven't checked it already, we do have an official Discord, which is in the description below. Well, we'll and it, uh, it is absolutely vibing. You should come say hi. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Forgotten Podcast, episode 11, one of the most anticipated episodes we've ever done with our guest, Sean Lee Gamer. Be sure to go check him out, guys. His channel will be linked down below. And be sure to, of course, go show some respect and some love towards Xavier, myself, and Curious and all our individual channels and stuff like that. And of course, be sure to join our Discord, guys. Stay tuned because next week we're going to have a new guest on the show again, a bigger upcoming YouTuber. You guys should be excited for it. And that'll be next week coming out soon, guys. So can't wait for you all to see it. Much love to you all. We hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll be on Spotify soon enough. And without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget about us. And Hey guys catch you on the next episode of the podcast peace out uh, adios oh you're still here well thanks for watching if you did go to enjoy this episode please be sure to subscribe and drop us a comment letting us know who you like seeing the show next or let us know what you thought of this episode also make sure to check out the forgotten podcast highlights channel and all of the other social medias along with ringing the little bell or ringing me Oh seven. Yeah, hold on. Joseph. No, 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 no. Joseph, hold on. Wait, no, no, Joseph. I, yo, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. stop. I, 